Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Today's vlog is gonna be really, really exciting because we are leaving for Disney in like four days. Today is currently Thursday. I leave on Monday night for Princess Night and I am so excited. Today's vlog is just gonna be us preparing for this trip, which is always like the most exciting part. We're starting off with getting my brows done. I normally don't get my brows done. I really don't. I just kind of keep them as is i'll pluck them every now and then i think i get my brows done like maybe once a year i know i probably should like upkeep it a little bit more but yeah i think the last time i got it done was like last september or something we're gonna go today i don't know why i'm just like really feeling going to get my brows done i did most of my makeup because i have <gasps> my phone is not even charged I have to work today and I'm thinking I might have to go straight from the threading place to work. Hopefully I can come home, but if not, I wanted to have like most of my face done. I just have been so stressed out. I mean, that's like normal for me just to feel extra stressed before a trip for fun. Like I just like really enjoy doing that, obviously. And I don't know why because I'm literally going for one day. Like I'm leaving Monday night, Princess Night is on Tuesday. And we're gonna go into the parks on Tuesday, Tuesday as well. And then Wednesday morning, I come home so I can go to work. So I really don't know why I'm so stressed out. Like, you're only going for a day. But, like, in my mind, I'm like, I'm there for a month. Like, I need to over prepare. I actually do know why I'm stressed out. It's because we were really struggling. I think I mentioned this in another vlog. I was, we were really struggling with our outfits because we could not find anything that we wanted i'll tell you guys what we're gonna do so we are going to be princess tiana and lottie i'm gonna be lottie so i can wear my pink outfit lauren's gonna be princess tiana and we were really struggling like the first idea that we had was like a matching like trouser set like satin trouser set we could find a pink one but we struggled finding like a really nice shade of green like that would match tiana we thought about doing dresses but dresses were impossible to find in pink and green in our sizes after our trouser idea failed and we couldn't find any dresses we decided to do a parachute pants we ordered some parachute pants on amazon and y'all they were so ugly like i will show you guys what they look like they were so bad they just don't fit very well we had to buy other ones um so that's why we've been kind of stressed is because i actually just got my new pair of pants today so i'm like i need to try them on before i go knowing me i'm like oh i can't just do one outfit like we're doing two so we're actually also going to be doing a princess protection program look which we're really excited about we think that we're just gonna wear the tiana outfits for actual princess night and then we just want to get like cute photos in the princess protection program because we have to wear dresses for that and it's gonna be really cold it snowed at disneyland yesterday so wearing dresses is not the vibe i just finished getting ready and i decided that i'm not gonna go and get my brows done today i think i'm just gonna do it tomorrow reason being i just got caught up with a bunch of things that i have planned i've been holding in this secret for so long and like it literally kills me every time I film something because I want to tell you guys so bad but I can't you guys will know very 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 soon but I can't tell you yet anyways today I was working on some things for that very secret special thing coming and I hate being annoying but like <laughs> Anyway, so I decided instead of going to get my brows done, we're gonna try on um, these freaking pants because let's just hope that they look good. So the original pants that I wanted to wear for um, Princess Night were these. They just like look very funny on me and I would not recommend. Actually really funny is that the day that I ordered this, literally the next day, Wild Rena, which you guys know I love Wild Rena. I always talk about them, but Wild Rena released parachute pants and they were pink and i was like girl like i wish i would have known i would have gotten her pants instead of the ones from amazon and now that these are not good i had to reach out and i was like is there any way i could get a hold of these and she was like of course and i was like thanks girl and so let's open them here's the package it literally just came in actually two things in this package so 
Um, I just love like the pink like I literally die first thing that I got is this sweatshirt Which is her like a Valentine's sweater. I know it's not Valentine's anymore But like it's pink and it's not like screaming Valentine's Day So I'm okay with it on the front. It says you are my daydream it says you're like a daydream to me Isn't that adorable the shade of pink is like actual perfection like i'm literally obsessed <laughs> also look at the sleeves like the sleeves have like a little heart i'm obsessed you guys can always use my code on wildrina it's code cassie it works on everything on the website all the time we got the pants and they're actually the same exact shade as a sweater um let me compare them to the other one so these are the original ones they're like more bubble bubblegum pink these are like more muted which i think is more wearable for like everyday life this looks so much cuter already i like that this has pockets too on the back focus baby focus or what the pants look like they're so cute i know you can't really see the bottoms but they look like this i love them they're adorable i think these are so cute for tops we're wearing like these matching corset tops since our pants are different because she got hers from amazon i got mine from wildrina so we don't have exact matches for the pants but our shirts are exactly the same they're from princess polly and they're supposed to arrive on saturday and there better not be any delays because if it doesn't arrive on saturday then i'm not gonna have a shirt we're also wearing crowns so this is from amazon so i have this crown it's like kind of hard to imagine but you have to imagine like a little crop top like that and we're probably gonna be cold so probably gonna bring actually Maybe i should bring my pink puffer jacket because it's probably gonna be freezing especially at night that's basically the plan for our princess night outfits i wanted to try the sweatshirt on for you guys too I love it. I don't think I would wear it with these pants, but you totally could. Um, how cute is it? I think I'm going to wear this to the airport. And so soft and so comfy. So definitely check out Wildrina. Thank you again, Brittany, for coming through last minute with these pants because I needed it. Once again, use code Cassie. If you guys want to shop, this video is not sponsored. I just, she really came through with these pants and I'm so thankful. I have like a mini jewelry haul unboxing to do one of my favorite like all-time favorite youtubers creators in general is colleen diaz if you guys don't know her you are missing out her content is superior her fashion is iconic she's just so cool and i've been following her for years and years and years and i love her she's never come out with merch or anything but she did come out with the jewelry collection i was like i want one of everything even though i couldn't <laughs> afford to buy one of everything i did get three pieces i can't wait to wear everything it's a jewelry brand and then she like did a collab with them which i'm so excited about like i need her to create a fashion collection like a clothing line because everything she does is so cool but I picked up this necklace which was like my favorite item from the collection but this necklace which is so cool it's like pearled and i just love all the different colors i also got a bracelet a plain gold bracelet it has like little tiny crosses like flowers just like cute little detail super simple very last piece that i got i got a ring i want to go back on this site and get the other necklace that she has because i think it'd be really cute to like layer her two necklaces this ring also my nails are so bad i have to get them done tomorrow so just leave me alone it's like a gold ring and it has roses and like different rhinestones like how cute is that for the rest of the day i'm gonna get ready go to work and then tomorrow I will pick up the vlog again because tomorrow I need to get my brows done since I didn't do it today and I need to get my nails done because they are dusty, crusty, rusty. It's another day, I just got back from the gym. I woke up at seven because I was like, okay, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna go get my brows done, do my nails, go to the gym, and I was gonna go and take a photo. So many things that I was gonna do. I woke up at seven, went back to sleep for an hour and I didn't get out of bed until like 11. Wonderful, I need to get better at just like making myself get out of the bed. I don't understand. I'm actually about to go and get my nails done hopefully we can figure out what i'm gonna do i don't know what i want to do for princess night i'm thinking just pink because my outfit's pink i would love to do design but honestly i'm like cutting it really close with time and i have to be at work we're gonna go get my nails done pink nails as always <laughs> I 
just got home from teaching, but I want to show you guys my nails. I really wanted to do chrome, and they could actually do chrome at that salon, so I need to go back there again. They weren't able to do it because I was so limited on time, and I literally barely made it. I think I made it to work like five minutes early. I was already pushing it as it was, so I just ended up doing baby pink, which is kind of boring. I mean, you guys know I love pink, but I would have loved to have some like chrome nails for princess night but you know life moves on i don't know if i've ever talked about this in a video before the reason why i get my nails done so much is i mean obviously they look really pretty getting my nails done is so expensive and the reason why i keep doing it and um i can't live without <laughs> having my nails i know it sounds dramatic but it's because i like pick my skin a lot like around my fingers like if i i'll show you guys it's gonna be fully transparent i don't know if you can tell it's like healing right now but like a couple days ago i was just like really like even yesterday i was just like really going at it um on this side i don't know if it's caused by anxiety or because i know that that could be like an anxiety habit or if it's just a bad habit. I've been doing this for as long as I can remember. It's just really bad. Like the reason why I was picking at it the other day was because um, my nail had broken and so I literally just broke all of my nails off. Natural nails, I'm able to like pick at it. Whereas with these nails, the acrylic is not as sharp and so I'm not able to pick at it. And sometimes I don't even realize that I'm doing it. That is why I like literally have to get my nails done. Like I remember during COVID, that was like the hardest time when it came to like how bad my fingers looked and it was because I wasn't able to go to a nail salon. At home nails, they don't last very long and they're not as strong and as sturdy as these. I just wanted to like share that with you guys. I feel like I share a lot with you guys and so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Anyways, tomorrow um, we're gonna do the brows. Okay, another day, another slay. I don't know why I even started this clip because I'm literally about to go take a shower. I got the top from Princess Polly for Princess Night though, so Princess Polly, Princess Night. We love that. The reason I thought the material would be different, but here's what the corset looks like. We're also gonna freeze to death, so I need to make sure I bring a jacket, but I will try it on after I shower. I just don't wanna try it on after. I just like sweat a bunch. I just got off the shower and I tried on the top. Here's what it looks like. There are like um, these little strings right here. I think it looks really cute together. I'm really excited about it now that I have the full fit. So here's what the crown looks like. I feel like we need like some sort of necklace to kind of complete the look. I don't know if I like this necklace with it. I feel like I need something like diamondy i don't know what jewelry i'm gonna do but i need to figure that out and then it's gonna be super cold so i'm kind of thinking like this puffer will be cute to kind of stay in the pink theme so like that that's cute right i think these would be perfect because they have pink in them here are the shoes i think it looks really cute i feel much better the next outfit that we're doing is princess protection program and that's literally just for photos for fun i'm gonna be demi's character which now that I think about it, I don't even know what her character's name is. <laughs> I'm a fake fan. I know Carter is Selena's character. Who the heck is Demi? Like Rosalie? Rosa? Rosalina? I have this yellow dress, which is from Lucy in the Sky. I picked up another crown because she has a gold crown. I mean, I could have just used the silver one, but it was going to bother me if I didn't have a gold one. <laughs> this one doesn't really sit on my head. I think this is actually a child's crown. So... We're just gonna use it for the demi photo. I bought this sash from Amazon. There's the sash and then I already have white gloves but I just couldn't find mine for whatever reason. I don't know what I did with them. And then demis are like half gloves so we're just gonna fold them. There's the fit. This is actually kind of reminding me of the mom, Mrs. Banks I think is her name from Mary Poppins. Like doesn't she wear literally this outfit? I think her dress is blue and I think she does have a necklace. So cute and then I don't know if she has earrings but I'll have to look at the picture a little bit more. There is the second look i love it i can't wait for these photos like this is gonna be so fun and i'm so excited to see lauren's outfit i actually have to take a picture for a collab that i'm doing with some other creators and it's for the disney bound march challenge which i'm not even participating that much in the disney bound challenge this year i'm really sad about it because i just have so many things going on this month that i just don't have the time or energy to really 
put in the work for that right now but i do have that collab so i'm really excited to do that one we're doing an illy girls collab i've talked about like the illy dolls before like this new collection that disney has created barbie dolls but disney version we're all dressing up as like a different doll my hair is stuck oh my god okay oh my god i just ripped my hair out Here's the fit. I'm gonna try and cut this shirt. Wish me luck. Not a DIY queen. I would love to be, but I'm just, that's just not who I am. I feel like I've tried to cut like denim shorts before, like during the Tumblr days when Tumblr was cool. I would try and cut like my own shorts and like try and distress them. Girl, it was not cute. Let me tell you, like I really thought I did something, but like it was actually really bad. Maybe I should watch a video. Hold on. It looks like she's just like cutting off the little neck part. I think that's way too big. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna be too wide. It works. It literally works for the photo. I'm gonna try and do my hair. I could catch another flight. I put bottom on Mickey wanna bite. Uh, I just wanna have a good night. Hold up. done and i added on these lashes which i don't even know what these lashes are from i literally just found them in my drawer and i was like perfect here's the finished makeup i added like a little lipstick this is from color pop it's from the small world collection and the shade is smiling faces I added this necklace i have the ears on and then i actually have this little crossbody bag which is from it was a bag. It's from Aldo. It's a Cinderella themed bag. So super cute. And it's literally perfect for the outfits. Like the same exact shape and everything. Here's the finished look. I feel like I did a pretty good job. And then I'm going to wear these shoes. I think we nailed the look. I'm really proud of myself for this one. Like it looks just like it. So I'm going to go outside. I'm going to take quickly take these pictures. trying to like look forward like in the photo like she's just like staring right at the camera and i don't know how to do that like, i always like look away or like do something like that and this is just not working just a change and i finished taking my pictures i think they turned out really cute and i can't wait to share them i think the post goes live on the 15th so it won't be up by the time this video goes up it's okay make sure you follow me on instagram so you don't miss it i want to try and challenge myself to put everything in my duffel bag i'm literally only going for a day like i literally leave monday we have the event on tuesday and then wednesday i come back should all fit if i can just pack smartly or smart i smartly a word i don't think so use my packing cubes I just finished packing my duffel bag and everything pretty much fit in there. Only thing I need to pack is like my makeup and my hair stuff and I need to put that in my um, backpack. But I'll do that tomorrow because, or actually I'll do that on Monday because um, I don't leave until Monday night. So I have time to do that. I'm gonna go and try and get my brows done now. Finally, I don't want some boba. I like want something sweet like a boba or some candy. I'm like a huge candy girl. Kind of explained this before, but like not like a big chocolate person. I'm not a huge like desserts person, like typical desserts like um, cake or cupcakes, things like that. Like I don't really care for those things. I will eat them if they're there, but like I would prefer not to eat them. Like a lot of times I do pass over those kinds of foods. Like it's like not really my favorite, but candy i am obsessed with candy like i love it so much like i love nerd clusters nerds skittles starburst now i'm really loving like the the strawberry belts like the i don't know like those belts like the belt strawberries they get in movie theaters you can get them at the liquor store love those sour straws mm. That just made my mouth water i literally love candy <laughs> that's my favorite thing so yeah i'm kind of like feeling candy but i'm also feeling matcha 
So I don't know what to do. I'll see what I end up getting. But I'm gonna do my brows. I am so tired, I keep yawning. That's good. It's so annoying. <laughs> back home here are what my eyebrows look like they look so much more snatched if you ask me eyebrow place i go to is actually well i say i go to i've literally only gone twice today was my second time because i just don't really do my eyebrows i don't know what it is but i get like stressed out <laughs> when i'm doing something that i know is going to cause me pain every time i go to the dentist like i get so nervous when they have to like numb me or like oh my god like anything that i feel like is going to cause me pain like i'm literally shaking and that is literally me getting my eyebrows done like it doesn't even hurt that bad it's like the anticipation before getting my eyebrows threaded every time that she's getting the thread ready to like take some hair off i'm like shaking because i'm just like so nervous like literally my foot is shaking the whole time my heart is like pounding like it's just it's too much and i don't really know why I'm like that. It's like really annoying. I'm gonna try and go more often to the bride place because I really like the way they look after I get them done. It's just, it stresses me out. I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyways, the place that I go to is literally called Eyebrow Threading Place <laughs> and it's in Redwood City if you guys want to go. My brows are done. Pretty much everything for my trip is like good to go. I just need to finish packing tomorrow and Monday, but I also picked up some food on the way home. So I got some boba. My favorite boba place is T4. I feel like T4 is always consistent and it's always so good. I got an Okinawa milk tea with regular boba. And then I also got some dim sum from like this new place it's not new but like new to me also got some chow mein so i'm excited to have some we'll say this place was so expensive it was called the taste i think but it was so expensive and then look at how small these dumplings are like girl but it's really good Mm -hmm. that's pretty much it for today's vlog i hope you guys are so excited for princess night like i said it's my first after hours event Ever, so I'm really really excited and I'm so excited for you guys to come along so make sure you guys subscribe so you guys don't miss all those vlogs because I will be vlogging everything don't even worry love you guys so much make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys